here we have a 66 plate BMW 430D X Drive M Sport. Now, this vehicle comes with the 20 inch alloy wheels. We do also have the blue brake calipers behind. We have the mineral grey metallic paintwork, LED headlights, gloss black front kidney grills. We also have the front splitter as well, part of the M Performance kit, which this vehicle has. Coming round to the passenger side, you find the side skirts along the bottom. We do also have the colour coded door handles and door mirrors, black trim around the windows, and the privacy glass for the rear passengers. Up top, you find the shark front antennae. We do also have the rear spoiler on the tailgate. Now we also have front and rear parking sensors with a visual display inside. We have the twin pipe exhaust on the left along with the rear diffuser. And there's a look at the back. If you just take a look inside of the boot, just open it up like so. You find we have a decent amount of space. It does go quite far back inside of here. We also have the extra storage pockets on the left on the right hand side. Handle just underneath here so we can pull the boot back down. And coming back round to the driver's side, you can see the vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. If we take a look now at the interior, so coming into the back first, I'll just fold the front seat forward. You see we have the full leather seat. We have the foldable armrest in the centre and fixed ISO points as well back here. Now again at the front, we have the same leather seats with both the front seats being heated and also electrically adjustable. The driver's side has the memory function. Got the electric mirrors and electric windows, automatic lights, automatic wipers, and a multifunctional steering wheel. Taking the seat inside, you'll find the dashboard in front of us. If you put a foot on the brake, press the start button, the vehicle will start up for us. We do have paddle shifters either side of the steering wheel, speedometer and the cruise control on the left, and we are free from any warning lights on the dashboard other than for the fuel level, so nothing to worry about. Got the main screen in the centre, currently showing the sat-nav, also has many more features on here, you would have seen all of them on the photos, but if we go through them, we do have the buttons down here. If you click onto your media, you find the radio stations, we also have the other options just here, if we go over to the left, you can scroll through the other options, we have the Bluetooth phone connectivity as well for making phone calls. If we go onto the main menu, we can then scroll through all the other features just here. Further down though, you find the events. We also have the dual zone climate control. We have the heated seats either side and the ice cold air conditioning, all working as they should do. Again, further down, we've got the automatic gearbox with the different drive modes. If you just press onto these buttons, then we can quickly switch between the drive modes. We also have the sport displays, which is a pretty cool feature to have. Leave it the drive mode in comfort for now. Putting the car into reverse, you'll also find the front and rear parking sensors appear on the screen. Put it back into park by pressing P. We then have the cup holders just underneath there. We also have a manual handbrake and the armrest as well in the centre. But that's all I'm going to show you guys today. If you'd like to find out more, please check out the website. This vehicle comes with a fresh service, fresh MOT, and free nationwide next day delivery. Thank you for watching.